welcome back to my channel Nicole Elise here so today I am going to be doing a first impressions testing out new products full face makeup look I hope you guys enjoy today's video I am really excited to be doing it because I always love trying new products with you guys um, I have the bare minerals complexion rescue foundation stick that I'm so excited to try I have the new clay to Poe rouge shine and rouge mattes and I also have the new hourglass brow products to try out and a bunch of other stuff too so we have a lot of things to test out I'm super excited to just kind of play with makeup and do this look before we get started don't forget to check out my Instagram come follow me there and also subscribe to my channel we'll have all my social media links product links for this video down in the description box so always check out the description box for all sorts of info without further ado let's jump right into the video i am filming on my vlogging camera because i don't know if you guys were able to tell but my quality of my last video that i filmed which i believe was my amazon favorites video but it was really like staticky almost it really wasn't a crisp picture so it really bugged me that it was just not doing very well so luckily i have a vlogging camera so i can like figure out um, my other camera situation and maybe take it in to get looked at but whatever so I hope you guys don't mind I'm gonna be using my vlogging camera today I want to prime my face I'm going to use the hourglass veil um, because I really want to since I'm using foundation I want to have like a really smooth canvas um, and this apparently is really great at doing that just kind of put it on the areas where I have sort of you know larger pores things like that because i believe that this is great for that oh i do want to try this this is the foundation primer by laura mercier um, if you're new to my channel that's something you should know is i don't really wear foundation i really pride myself on taking care of my skin and using like just concealers and stuff but um i do like trying foundations because there are days where i need to you know maybe put a little bit more full coverage on and i'm actually going to use this this is the hollywood flawless filter um i really like putting this under foundations i think it really gives a gorgeous glow um, it's one of my favorite holy grail products the foundation we're going to try out today is actually the bare minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I have heard that this is an incredible hydrating foundation stick. A lot of foundation sticks that I have found are more natural to matte. Not a lot of them are really dewy. I find that liquids tend to be way more dewy, but it is kind of cooling on the face. And I'm just gonna do like two stripes and just kind of see how it works with that. I feel like I'm gonna really like this product. Oh, I'm in the shade Spice 08. By the way, I'm really loving this finish. It is so, like I also think that it's my um, hydrating, or sorry, I also think it's the flawless filter that's like peeking through too, but the more dewy I like because, I don't know, it's hard to put like natural luminosity into like a makeup look and I feel like in my opinion, whenever I try to like make myself use like a natural or matte foundation and then put glow into my skin, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't give me the right kind of look. I really like that so far. My skin tone's evened out, but it doesn't look super heavy on the skin. It looks um, like it's evened out my skin tone for sure. And I love the finish of it, it's really nice. And I feel like you can use it really lightly too, like mix it in with some moisturizer or something, and I think it'll look really nice, so love that. So now I'm gonna use the Magic Away Liquid Concealers. These are my favorite concealers. I have mine in the shades seven and eight. I like using seven underneath my eyes to brighten up. I'm using shade eight just to kind of touch up any blemishes. I'm pretty good, just around my nose mainly is where I like to go. I'm gonna use the Paracone MD No Makeup Bronzer. I've been loving this. I use this as like a base for my bronzer before I go in with powders. I just think it warms up my skin and it's a really like natural formulation. I love creams and liquids, so 
I love this. And this is, um, I don't think they have different shades, but I do like this shade just for the warmth that it brings. I'm just grabbing Sun Kissed by Nude Sticks. So now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm going to use the new Hourglass um, Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencils. Um, they have the original ones that are somewhere, oh, here. This was actually the PR thing that got sent out. And um, these are the fiber gels and then these are the original Arch Brows Sculpting Pencils, so they made the micro ones so that you can do, have a little bit more control and create more precise shapes and things like that. But um, I just took the shades out that I have and I'm going to be using these. I do love, I, I have tried them and I do like them. So I'm gonna use dark brunette and soft brunette. I usually like to just start from the middle of my brow and work outwards toward the tail. But I recently just got my eyebrows tweet, like waxed because the shapes were getting really crazy and I feel like she took a little bit too much off the top and now this brow is just a little lower than usual so I do like to go in with a, another lighter pencil and just fill it in. to use the arch brow shaping gel this is the clear one I love the brush on this too I really like this brow gel it's quite nice it gives me a very bushy brow I'm gonna take my concealer in eight I love using this city bronzer I really really like this shade too I've you know, buying this, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, but I've used it like a lot. I use it every time I do my makeup. I just think it's a really nice undertone of a bronzer, not like a red undertone. Um, it's more of like a yellow olivey undertone. And I haven't found a lot of bronzers that are this shade and I'm like really, really happy with it too. So I'm going to use my little um, NARS Casino and I like using this for my nose. This is the Sex on Fire Cheek to Chic, and I love this. Apparently you use the outer side, which I'm just realizing now, on like the cheekbone, and then you put the center right on the apples, like this. I like using this color on top of my uh, Sun Kissed because it layers really nicely. It's still a really pretty undertone but it's like not too crazy. And blush is the first thing that fades when you do your makeup and like throughout the day, it's the first thing that'll go. So I like to kind of load up on it um, more so than I would normally. So now I'm going to use a powder highlight. I always just go back to this little Cali palette by um, Smashbox. I don't know if this is a permanent thing, but I use the highlighters all the time. And even just like the shades in this are really nice, but I love the formulation of the highlights because they're not patchy at all. They're not like super intense either. Just going to kind of put this right at the top of my cheekbones. I do want to use this. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it kind of on the apples, like a blush topper. You guys can see that? I'm going to do a little bit of cat eye. I'm not really, I don't really want to do any eyeliner, like eye makeup, so um, just liner. Unlimited mascara. <sighs> these little guys, these are Demi Wispies by Ardell. I love using these, they're so good. I don't know if my eyes look normal or, yeah, whatever. I'm going to align my lips. This is NYX Chocolate. 
I don't really love the way that lip turned out. Okay, so I'm gonna use these. These are new, these are from M Cosmetics. They are the new shades of their lip clouds. And I'm a really big fan of them, but before I do that, I'm actually going to fill in my lip a little bit more, just to like fill it in, not overline it, just so that uh, it has something to stick to. I don't know, I think this is a little excessive. I probably don't need to do this, but I like doing it. I'm gonna use Pillow Talk, this is Pillow Talk by, sorry, this is Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use Mocha, Morning Mocha. It's a very nice, pretty brown, which oh, I love it. Oh, this is so nice. These are my favorite formulations of liquid lipsticks. They're so soft. They're not heavy at all on the lips. So pretty. Okay, love that shade. Highly recommend. Next thing I'm going to use is these guys. These are the Clay de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouge Shine. And this is in the shade Sepia. These are new too. Oh my God. I love the applicator on this hit. It's so precise, but it's also light. Ooh, I like the shine on it too. Next thing we're going to do, love the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I use this literally every single day. It's so refreshing. It smells like candy, watermelon, like Jolly Ranchers. And the spray is so divine. And it gives a really nice glow. It's not, super intense and it's not metallic either. It just sets it, but gives you like a really nice um, youthful shine, which I really love. And I love the spritz on this. It's so soft and relaxing and it's not like, see my chest now? It has like a little bit of like a sheen. It's not really pow. So there is my makeup. I'm going to see if my hair can still manage from last night. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I don't need to like do anything to it really. Okay guys, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little makeup look. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried any of these products. I am a really big fan of them. We did try out some new stuff today. I was really presently surprised about this and I'm loving how it looks with all of my makeup on. Um, still really dewy, love, I just, I really love it. So um, definitely check out Bare Minerals, the uh, Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. These micro sculpting pencils, you have so much more control, whereas the bigger ones, it's easier to kind of make a mistake and mess up. It's really tiny and precise, so you can really kind of get in there and create those strokes really easily into the eyebrow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram. All the products will be linked down below for you guys. And until next time, I will see you in my next one. Bye.